Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Thrones of Britannia Let's Play as the Mead. I have had a comment from the Knight of Tara, who, if you guys want to check it out in the first episode, he's told me a lot of history on Ireland at this point in time, and he's also said that the pronunciation for this faction is not Mead, but in fact Mead would be a closer... Uh, pronunciation of it so I will call it mead from now on uh, until told otherwise but uh, regardless we are in a bit of a predicament right now our ally over here the Briga tribe have been beaten back by uh, Dif Difflin and this other tribe here the Visef Yorder they are quite strong they've got a 16 stack plus a 9 stack here they are sieging this settlement and I've got a 10 stack here, but it's not going to be enough to hold them back, I don't think. So with that in mind, I'm not really sure what I want to do up here, up north. But I can't really bring this army south until they are dealt, dealt with. And if we look at the diplomacy here, uh, they basically hate me. Uh, it actually it is improving, though, which is good. Um, yeah, they only don't like me and this other faction here. It's mainly because they don't like my war with uh, with Difflin and this uh, events window, but it looks like it's slowly improving. However, if I do move this army away, I think that will tempt them to come in against me. And they only have these two settlements plus that little uh, five stack there, so I may just try and get rid of them if possible. But with that in mind, our public order in the uh, main settlement is pretty good at plus six. Over here, the public order not as good. Uh, it's at minus six, but I'm still going to risk bumping the taxes up uh, because this now will be minus 10, but at the same time, it shouldn't really be too bad because we're losing that occupation every turn. It goes down, so it should only be minus four on high taxes. And with that in mind, I can get, actually get three additional Our units. So over here, um, I kind of need... Maybe just a few cheap spears. Wow, they're only 18 gold. They're so cheap. I love it. Uh, could get... See, I can't get any more of these swords. Or maybe get two axes. That might be good. Down here. So yeah, let's get those. And then we're going to wait here and kind of see what happens with this army. But up here, I'm going to Not grab possible. one more unit. Um, although, actually... Oh, yeah, right None here. Stand against us. And spear, another javelin would probably be good. They seem to do a decent amount of damage. Because I can't get another sword. And I've got two units of cavalry. It's too bad that they're all ten for the food. I wish that like some were cheaper than that. Alright, let's get another javelin. And uh, we're going to declare war on them this turn, I think, because we just don't have the ability to kind of wait around anymore. Um, I actually wonder, can I spawn in another general here? Do they cost food? Is there anyone who's free? It doesn't look like it. Plus 20% from farms of the governed province. Upkeep costs for cavalry. Upkeep costs for spear infantry. So let's get this guy. He does cost minus food, which is a little bit of a problem, but I'm going to send him over here to take out that. Wait a moment. Um, so actually, he will reach that next turn. So we're going to declare war on them next turn, uh, which is fine. I think I am building some food buildings, but we're not going to have it for another few turns, it looks like. Uh, this is down to two which is all right. So hopefully we should be fine. Uh, I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Uh, it's a little bit of an issue. Yeah, minus 10 replenishment, minus 5 supplies, minus 2 public order because of the food shortage. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, end the turn. I would love to move out and help that faction in their siege, but I just don't think that I'm strong enough, to be honest. And I need to get rid of this one in the north. I might be able to get rid of Difflin there, though. I can help uh, Brega out, but I doubt I'd be able to reach them in time, to be honest. Okay, they pulled back. 
Got some rebel problems over there. Faction destroyed. Go for light. Okay, so we've got a governor. Is there anything that gives more food? Plus five food, govern province. Plus five percent food, actually. Hey, there we go. We've got forty-six food, so I can actually get more units now. Okay, they've taken it, but I can get more units. So let's get two more spears. Um, yeah, two more spears. Got the axes, got the swords. I think that should be fine there. So that's 26. Uh, war fervor is minus three, though, so they're going to start to not like the fact that we're at war all the time. The the um, over here, let's get one more javelin and one more... Actually... wonder why we can't get any of these. I guess they're just not available. Could get the Eric Warband, but they're quite expensive. Um. Alright, let's get one more of them. We've still got a comfortable surplus, so if I come back down here, I might be able to get one more us. of something. Got four spears. Can get them as well. Good. So that that's a pretty solid force, and we still have a food surplus. Uh, these guys... They will not be in range to take that this turn. I think I might take out these rebels, or I'll see if they take out the rebels. I'm not too sure, but we're going to declare war on this faction up here. I'm not researching any technologies, so we got the library. So let's get the public order bonus. Although we can go for agriculture, but I want that public order. And, uh, yep, yeah, so they shouldn't have any allies. And here we go. So they've only got two spears and two javelins. Uh, this should be an easy fight, but I want to make sure and limit my losses. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Alright guys, so this shouldn't be too hard of a battle. They've got most of the same units we do, but they just have less numbers. However, I'm still going to try and get every opportunity possible or get every opportunity to get a leg up on them. So what I'm going to do is focus my uh, javelins on their general and also use my cavalry to kind of uh, wear them down a little bit as well. Just kill this general and then the rest should route off the battlefield quite quickly and we should be able to just run them down. But we can go ahead and fast forward here, getting them into position. And I wonder if I should just move these guys over and try and draw the general away. Don't think that'll be necessary. So let's move my horses over here. Yeah, so they're going to try and readjust. Which is the smart thing to do. You guys come out of the flanks. You guys push forwards. Well done, they're actually moving their troops around. Very clever. And we're going to come under fire here very soon. Shield castle. Let's press play. They're wide open. You guys come after that. You come over here. What are they fighting over here? Freemen, spearmen against freemen, spearmen. There we go. It looks like the general is kind of moving away. Let's get my general close. Let's break these guys out of shield castle and bring them around. Let's try and draw the general in over here. May lose this cavalry unit, but that's okay. Just 
got a nice charge into the backs of these uh, Freemen Spears here. Nice work. That should get them off the battlefield. General's See, not even moving. Flee before our might. Let's keep firing javelins. In the trees over here. Did I even send that unit in from behind? The battle is turning in our favor. We can't really see, but General, attack! Our general is under attack. Let's push in with the spears here. Ready now. Javelins! You attack! Javelins! Let's have the javelins just go after the retreating troops. No, guys, don't target my general, please. Now you can fire at him. Is that a glitch or something? Don't let them escape. Run them down. Yeah, I think they've been mostly taken care of, which is excellent. Still got these guys fighting, but General will run them down. Can barely even see what's going on. Go, General, go. Nice. And that sees the victory right there. Well done. Stay on them, though. We need to make sure that they are completely gone. This calls for a drink. Attack! And well deserved. Hit them! And we'll just fast forward there. Don't see any more that have escaped, so. Good battle. Decisive victory. So that does leave their capital city open for attack now, which is just what I wanted. All right, unfortunately 11 got away, but that is 11 too many. But we're going to go ahead and take on the Warriors because we need to push Move on. And we're not going to gain any replenishment from here on out. Our so with that in mind, we're going to push out up here as quickly as we can. At the same One time, we're going to come over here with this general and occupy this little Agreed. minor settlement. And please say they have food here. They do not. Dang. Minus 18 public order. And it's because of the taxes too. That everything is so high. To to so that's going to be a problem with newly. Um, okay, so Difflin could come over here. Not possible. You guys could strike us next turn, but Our we've got a 15 stack now. We can't. How are you guys affording to get stuff over here? Not exactly sure. But next turn, this guy's going to come back down over here and occupy this manor. It's going to take him a few turns, but we got to do what we got to do. If there's a rebellion here, it's not the end of the world. But they should have a garrison here. Seven, so that's a pretty good garrison. We have only got eight. And we can't... Uh, We can't do anything about our replenishment right now. So I guess it's just kind of seeing what happens from here on out. Um, I'm really hoping they will defend my territory. If not, I'm going to have to get over there, I think. Ooh, why are we not within a good striking range? Is it just all my movement points to cross that river? Yeah, it is. War is what we do best. I mean, this still will be our territory, and we should be able to catch them next turn if they do decide to move that way. So let's go ahead and do that. We're still going to replenish, which is good. Uh, they do have fifth, 16, though, which is a bit of a problem. I would love to disband from over here, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. So, we'll just see what happens. Hope my ally is going to help me out here. 
I think I made a big error in taking them on as vassals. Get out of here, Difflin. I don't know how they're surviving with a 9 stack off a minor settlement, though, and that's all they have. That's kind of a joke. Wow, okay, thanks for supporting me there. Ho 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 ho! Okay, so, yeah. Eastman, Axman, Long Axes. Yeah, I'm going to try and retreat from this. There is no way I'm going to be able to get there. Or to take out that army. How can they have... That is crazy. Well, they actually have a lot of territory. Food shortage because of the winter. War is what we do best. Freeman Spears... Freeman Axemen, Surf Archers, Freeman Javelins. Javelins and Archers we can get rid of with the Cav. It's just mainly the infantry. That general is pretty weak, so if we kill him, we should be able to win this battle. This is really concerning, though, guys. I may be losing this campaign very early on. Um, but, like, I think we should be able to take this out, I hope. It's only three spears and two units. We've got one, two, three. Well, only three for a front line. They've got five. We do have the javelins. That general we can kill easily, so it's basically just down to this. I'm going to try and fight this one, guys. I hope that this isn't a huge uh, failure. But I just need to wrap up this kingdom up here that just is so upset with me so that I can focus all of my efforts on the south. The enemy has reinforcements! Alright guys, so I'm quickly going after this general who has spawned on the battlefield alone. He may actually get away, which is a little bit annoying. I'm trying to catch them as quickly as possible. As far as the reinforcements come, it looks like they are coming from this way, so I'll readjust my spears over that way to face them. I'm going to keep my javelins on the sides here. Come on, kill that general. That should help the, with the morale uh, the enemy debuff. Yes! Is dead. Excellent. Okay, See, come back. They flee before our might. Excellent. So that's actually put it a bit in our favor. We don't have the advantage of the manpower, but we should have the advantage of the cavalry. So let's form up over here. Let's have the general way on this flank here. Let's get the... Oh, are they not going to come to me? Because I attacked them. Dang it. All right, well, I'll let them form up. Love how one guy's getting away, but does matter. The general is dead. So how are they looking here? Doesn't really tell you the... It looks like red for their morale. 37, how's their morale? 54, my goodness. Oh, these are 23 though, so only the Fianna Band is holding well. Morale is 23 for... Yeah, a lot of their units, I think, because of the death of General. Oh man, this is going to be tough. Definitely going to be tough. I'm going to have to eliminate their archers first. And then just hope that my center holds for long enough. Yeah, the javelins and the archers are going to be a bit of a problem. Let's actually try and form up over here near these rocks. 
so it's not going to be easy for them to flank around me. Who's for a party? Shift it up now. Cavalry. Cavalry. I know this probably seems boring for you guys, uh, and it's not that big of a deal, but it so is because this, these are crucial battles. Uh, we're not really strong starting off, and we are facing off against some very strong factions right off the bat. Not really getting much help from allies either, which is a big problem. I was hoping that we would be able to secure some alliances. Looks like they're getting to be a little bit tired from running around. Okay, they're trying to come after my general and get him in range of those archers. Bring it on! It's a bottle! Bring it off! Come on, engage me, you cowards. Oh, actually, we've got a nice uh, position here between some rocks. Okay, you guys get the shield castle. Let's see if I can run around with my cav and cause them some problems. Because I can't take casualties to them firing on me like this. You're fine, you're fine. Speed up, okay, it looks like they're coming towards us now. Is the Fianna band coming in? Why did you guys do that? Our general is under attack. It's alright, he's going after the archers. Okay, let's get the javelins over here. Okay, get rid of those javelins. See, they flee before our might. Get out of there, General. Are these the Fianna band? They are. Okay. Oh no! Okay, get rid of those archers. Javelins fire on them. Oh, shoot. Get over here, guys. Yeah, this is not good at all. Okay, come char- Oh, that's their garrison general. Okay. Target that Fianna band with your jabs immediately. Oh, dang. We may lose this. Wow. Their general is wavering. Yes, he is broken. Okay, awesome. They're going. They're going after this cavalry. Make Blake are going to charge into them. Oh, but don't actually. I was kidding. This unit of cav is out of ammo. How is this general not dead over here? The men have been routed. Oh dear. They're leaving the field. None of my men have come back. Uh. 
Javelin! Javelin! Who's for a burning? Who's for a burning? Release Javelin! Javelin! Right then! All right, hit those axes. Try to get a good charge on them, too. If this Vienna band routes, then we might be fine. General. That was an awful charge, General. An right awful charge. Right hard. Come on. Where's the fight? Yes, okay, they've routed. See, they flee before Javelin. our might. Keep on them. Javelins actually come over here. Come after them. Oh man, this is intense. If I lose this entire army, I don't care because I don't need it up here anyways. Just make sure that Fianna Band does not return. Yes, okay, they've routed. I'm after the spears now. Uh, Cav, yeah, you come this way. How many are left? Four Fianna Band, that is not bad. here we got this oh man yes yes oh the irish they are done excellent sorry that there were no zoom ins there guys but that was intense uh you guys need to get over here immediately though and run them down so they do not have enough of a garrison to uh hold out in the siege if that's even a thing I'm not exactly sure if it is but oh man that was intense only one Fianna band trying to escape but we're gonna run them down make sure they do not escape there we go and just finishing off the last of those spears. Got the Freeman Spearman over there too. Ah, they're going to escape. That's annoying. Think that is it. One more there. Oh, just knocked him down. Wow, so yeah, we've only got two Javs and a bit of Horsemen, but a Fyrig victory. It was paid with the ultimate price, but like I said, we don't need these units anyways. I'll probably disband them and then free up the food so I can get a 20 stack down south. Alright guys, a very good victory for us there. I think that that should get us the city... Oh no... We may have to auto-resolve it just to get rid of these 20 javelin men that did escape. Uh, it looks like 29 men escaped, but it's only reflecting 20 here. Um, but yes, yeah, so we lost uh, about half of our force, but killing 1,000 men with, with 620 is a pretty good feat. So let's again take on the warriors. Only 1%, I know, but... There goes their newly crowned puppeted king there. Those orders don't make sense. Goodbye. None shall stand against us. And yeah, we're gonna have to grab that battering ram, maintain Bring the siege there. there. And I think we will take care of that next turn. Now our war fervor is minus eleven. It isn't affecting us yet, which is good. Um, but actually, what I'm going to do over here. Get them now. Merge those two, and now I have plus five food, because I was struggling a little bit there War is what we do best. all right yeah there's this 19 stack over here that is probably going to cause us some problems i wonder if they will take peace because my client state here is absolutely no help whatsoever i 
Who likes me the most? Let's try and get some more uh, allies on our side here. Both my heart and my ear. Declaration of friendship. Let's try and get some money out of them for that. Insulting. Okay. All right then. And defensive pact sufficient. Ooh. A reasonable arrangement. Can we get a military alliance? Sufficient. Very a nice. Good. So let's see if they'll join our wars. Oh, looks like Diflin, actually. These are client states of Diflin. Insulting. Okay, so they're not going to come uh, to help us. Brega is my vassal. Ayla, can we bump this up to household. a military alliance? No. Come share the comforts of my household. Insulting. Well met, friend. Let's talk. All right, I guess that's all we're going to be able to do. Legitimacy, gaining acceptance. So plus one loyalty, plus one, uh, three melee skill. Very nice there. All right, so how much movement do I need for this? 50%. So I can move to here. Forward we go. And Get encamp. I think if I'm encamped, I should be able Can't to be win done. against them. But over here, a little bit concerned at uh, this faction. Um, Our bravery let's disband you. And then at Diflin, get this guy, 20%, minus 50 upkeep, so we'll get him. It's going to cost us some money, but we're going to go ahead and take that away from Diflin. I think that's their only territory left. Um, I, I didn't check if we could get peace, but I highly doubt it. My time is precious. Do not waste it. Extremely generous, really. Oh. Insulting. Sufficient. Now, will this put me at peace with these two? Because I need to just wrap up this war in the north first before I can go to war with them. And I could always go in against someone else uh, for the time being or just strengthen my... Uh, my kingdom as a whole. Let's try and get this. I wish that was another. Beautiful. One. So, enemies. Only one enemy. Yes. Oh, that solves our problem majorly. And actually, I just saw. Um, this is why Diflin still survives. They've actually got settlements over here that I did not know about. But good. That uh, helps our war fervor. Uh, these factions should return, like get out of my lands. And uh, are they still at war with Brega? I wonder. Enemies. No, they're not at war with my vassal either. Oh, excellent. Okay. So that's very good then. So now we don't have any enemies, which is excellent. So dang it, I wish I tried that before I hired this guy over here. Those orders don't make sense. Hmm. No matter. It's fine. Uh, so we're doing good over here. We'll take that next turn, but we need to start solidifying our claims here, I think. So that would give us plus 20% from the market. Uh, we don't have enough food production to go up. Oh, that doesn't take food, so we could do that. But if we're looking at public order, I'd rather focus over here. Which we can't really fix at the moment. Would give plus 20 food, which would be pretty good. Yes, we can't really fix this public order issue right now, so we're just going to have to focus on the main settlement right now. So what I'll do is upgrade that then to a level 2. And is there anything else that I can build? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll actually 
do one more end turn and then we will leave it uh, here. But that is actually amazing that we got peace with them, that they were more than happy enough to take peace with us because I was super worried. Their vassals are very strong. And now I wish that I didn't make a bunch of declarations of friendship with everyone, but I've actually saved Brega's life as well, this faction that I became a vassal of, because they were 100% going to be destroyed by them. Uh-oh. Okay, so it looks like this will be the next war. It looks like they're almost the same strength. Um, oh, my kingdom's going to be pretty fractured, though. 31 to 38. 64 to 48. Why are they deteriorating? Alright, well. I'll enter the war on the side of my ally, I guess. No other way. And then we were actually going to send our army north to start conquering those lands for the next episode. Uh, Lagan was destroyed. Yeah, nothing we can do there. Very good. So the men are eager to get to it. Await you orders. Let's get these guys up here. Actually, Bring me there, like pirates. so. Probably not going to still take replenishment on the water. Oh, actually, as long as. Seasickness, that's not good. Yeah, I forgot that we will take that, but the Vikings will not. Let's go ahead and wrap up this year uh, with an aggressive stance. May lose a few units, but that's okay. We lost 12. Excellent. And we will occupy. Faction destroyed. And we will repair that. What do they got here? A tithe barn. So that's... Grange Tithe Barn, Great Tithe Barn. So that affects public order. But this just costs money. 70 food, 6 supply. So that gives more food, less supply. Holdout time. Wealth for farms. Not only gives 50 food, but it gives a little bit more money. So I guess since we have it, we'll leave it for now. That's fine. Oh, we actually can build something else here, too. Uh, how's the public order here? Not that good, actually. So could build a church here. That would help with the public order. And what I can do as well... Not there. Is uh, drop these taxes a bit. Oh, minus nine food. Okay, that's that's actually fine. Because what I'll do is merge those, and then we have just enough. And actually, I might just completely disband this army. So I have 51 food there. And then... What I'm going to do is bring this guy so it's at minus 14 so if we drop that down even further it's only minus 10 and it's the occupation so it should actually even out plus we're getting a church here For the glory of the gales. so I think we should be alright so what I'll do is I'll leave that guy there, actually, and I'm going to bring this guy. This guy over here to capture these smaller settlements here. Yeah. They've got a 17 stack here, but we've also got Aelic over here, which is our defensive ally. So maybe we can get a military alliance with Aelic? You're a welcome sight. What can I do for Still you? insulting, eh? Does anybody want to trade with me? Well met, friend. Let's talk. Guess I can't trade with them. Shake off the dust of the road and sit beside me. You're a welcome sight. 
What so can I can't I really you? trade with anyone. Oh, I guess I already are. Uh, or, uh, I guess I already am trading with them. But, all right, guys, that's what we're going to leave it off with. Uh, we actually can assign a governor up here, which may actually help with the public order. Um, so... That might be all right. Everyone's still pretty loyal. This governor here... Give us some more food. And this general, let's give him quartermaster. And good, so we've got some good food here. And how is that doing for public order? Um, it didn't really change it at all. But yes, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. We luckily, just by the skin of our teeth, got out of the war down here with these very powerful factions. What I'm going to do is focus on this... Uh, this clan in the next episode kind of take some more port settlements and uh then go from there so yeah uh hopefully you guys enjoyed be sure to like comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future and i will see you in the next one